All right, in this video, I'm going to show you multiplying proper fractions and improper fractions. Okay, so what we're basically looking at is a situation like this, where you have three quarters and you have to multiply it by an improper fraction, say 8 over 3. It's actually very simple. Uh, you don't have to do anything to these fractions at all. Um, right now, you just simply multiply them straight across. Straight across. So you're just going to go three multiplied by eight. Three to twenty-four. All right, and four times three is twelve. Now, obviously, this can obviously be simplified. Twelve goes into twenty-four two times. So there you go. We have two as our answer. So three three quarters multiplied by eight thirds is 2. Okay? And let's try another one. Uh, let's say we've got 5 over 8 multiplied by 7 over 4. Again, just multiply straight across. 5 sevens are 35. Again, knowing your times tables is makes this a breeze. 4 eights are 32. All right? And now we just simplify what number um, sorry, we, we simplify by uh, turning this into uh, a mixed number. All right, so we say how many sets of 32 go into 35? Well, it's 1, and there are 3 left over, so 1 and 3 30 seconds. Okay, that's exactly what we did here. We said how many sets of 12 go into 24? 2. Okay, all right, let's try uh, a third one, and then I'll give you some practice questions. Let's suppose we've got um, four fifths multiplied by, uh, let's see, 11 fourths. All right, again, 4 times 11 is 44, and 5 times 4 is 20. So now we just say, right, how many sets of 20 go into 44? We can get two complete sets of 20, all right, which gives us uh, 40. And then there's four left over, four over 20. And we can obviously reduce this fraction some more. So if we uh, just come down here, it's going to be two. And four goes into itself once and into 25 times. So it's two and one-fifth, okay? All right, so um, that is our final answer. And why don't you try working out these uh, practice questions? Let's try uh, three quarters multiplied by uh, six over two. And why don't we also have a look at, um, let's see, two over 5, and we multiply that by uh, 8 thirds, and you can also give 7 eighths multiplied by 9 sevenths a try as well. Okay, so stop the video, try out these three questions, and uh, then you can start the video and see what I got, okay? Good luck. Okay, so we've got three quarters, and we are going to multiply that by six over two. Okay, we as as I said before, you just multiply the numerator straight across, and then we um, we need to make them into a mixed number if if uh, we can. All right. Okay, so three sixes are eighteen for the numerator, and four times two is eight for the denominator. So now we have to turn that into a mixed number. How many sets of 8 are in 18? Well, we can get two sets of 8, which will give us 16, and that means that we have to add on two more, so that leaves us 2 and 2 eighths, which we can still simplify 2, and 2 goes into itself once, and into 8 four times, so 2 and a quarter. All right. Next one is 2 times 8 is 16, and 5 times 3 is 15. And how many sets of 15 go into 16? Well, that's pretty easy. 1, and that means that there's 1 
left over and we keep the denominators the same. So it's 1 and 1 15th. All right, and our third question, 7 times 9 is 63, and 8 times 7 is 56. And we can just um, break that down some more. So how many sets of 56 go into 63? Well, 1. All right, and how much would we have to add? We'd have to add, let's see, 7 over 56. Well, um, I know my 7 times table, and I can tell you that uh, 7 times 8 is 56. So uh, I know that I can make that into 1. 7 goes into itself once and into 56 8 times. Okay? So 1 and 1 eighth. Okay? So I hope that's been helpful for you. Good luck.